to understand what Destiny Universe is about. To understand how Destiny I process assist self is really simple because if you notice everyone in this world is looking for something or someone in which to assist themselves to feel better and to justify the experiences that we walk as that we act as and that we seek to have of ourselves let's look at the point of why people go to church people go to church because they want some sort of understanding as to why and how it is that they are existing the way that they're existing and why they have all these thoughts and these feelings and these emotions that they cannot even completely understand. They're searching for things. They're searching for someone, something to assist them to understand who the hell they are. The Destiny material offers you suggestions that have never been offered before because they are offered lacking the self-interest that we've always existed as. It's actually a genuine phenomenon that we as humanity have enabled ourselves to fundamentally resolve all matters that we have seen as a profound truth from the perspective of self-interest in essence what satisfies my needs to me because everything that we see as possible that we walk as and manifest ourselves to be which we mirror onto and as this reality is all within and enables the needs of myself within the interest according to myself and there's a hidden obvious fact that remains clear to be seen where value no longer has to be met according to the needs of self-interest or self-importance where we don't have to actually disregard authority or lack compassion for humanity once we are able to see ourselves as equal as everything here where we actually release these focused images and illusions that we have existed as and we are able to distinguish fact from fiction because consequentially due to our own selfish desires we have literally suffocated ourselves by our own hands and the living reality of that is shown through the wars and the homelessness and poverty and hunger and we have sought to improve our self-worth and through that process we have diminished the respect that we actually exist as through others because we've never seen others as ourselves so the greatest adversary of humanity is in fact ourselves in how we force upon society the self-interest that we are existing as and in doing so we sever the hands of all that exist here and it's easy to see that because we've never throughout history throughout all the wars throughout all the beliefs throughout all the worships we've just turned into more warships actually we're like our body is like living warships floating through an endless chatter of abuse that we choose to ignore and we don't want to see self honesty is the point of stopping the criticism within self and recognizing that the feelings and the thoughts and the emotions that we've existed as are just rotating this is easy to be seen in how relationships exist 
we want to be the same but yet we exist in separation as we act the same we walk the same experiences we condemn and we justify our judgments towards others and fail to see that we are in fact only judging ourselves through our separation of ourselves as each other hate has never improved this world poverty is at an all-time high starvation and death amongst children is at an all-time high if we cannot see that we are not supporting the children of this world then how will we ever be able to support anyone much less ourselves because we don't even comprehend or understand what it is to support a living being being born here the laws that society are built upon are based upon money and greed and profit and how can I insist upon others to respect a point within myself that I don't even really respect as myself and there is no respect of self until self actually begins to realize the oneness that they have with all living beings here and it is not so easy to see that because well we've never existed as such so to change ourselves within that takes dedication to self takes direction in stopping and forgiving ourselves for what we have always existed as what we've always accepted to be true when we've never really lived according to a point of self-honesty and equality where we actually acknowledge all life and we actually give all life what we want to receive ourselves where we stop self-interest and we allow ourselves to not fear who we've become but to stop who we've become and an interesting point of remarkability is that when you begin to stop yourself and direct yourself according to and as what is best for all there's this point within you where you see your fears begin to fade and you see the lies of who you've been and you no longer shame yourself for the lies you've been because you recognize that you never even considered life according to what was best for all so then the seeking and the searching and the demanding to have certain experiences of self that wanting desire that burning desire to have and be and to continue to seek and manipulate and justify it begins to stop it begins to diminish because you see yourself within your thoughts and so you begin to stop your thoughts and you begin to direct yourself according to who you become aware of that you are able to be as all as one is equal so an equal money system will be the beginning to solving the lack of self-trust that we actually exist as within ourselves where we will begin to honor ourselves in trust through our living according to what's best for all give yourself the chance to see who you can be who we can all be living here abundantly according to what's best for all